Hey guys, so today we're going to print out a dragon that's one of the two, two color, actually this one's an MMU, so you can actually go four colors on it, but uh, on the A10M all we can do is color, uh, print with two colors. So I'm going to try printing this model, it's by Luis Driggers, uh, one of my favorite artists of all time. And I'll put a link to the model in the video description, but um, we'll go ahead and give that a shot on this. I went ahead and I sliced it so it should print with two different colors. I'm going to go with the bronze and the black once more and just see how this turns out. Anyway guys, it'll do be about a 24, 26 hour print, so I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, this was one day, one hour, and seven minutes. So that would be, what, 25 hours and seven minutes to print. And let's see how it turned out. I still got to play with the retractions because it should not be this much wisps. I know it's bad retraction settings, and i got to play with it some more because that's kind of no bueno right there. Almost looks like fiberglass. <laughs> That really stuck to that bed really good, too. And that's... Normally this stuff just releases. Let's see. Hopefully I don't break its foot off. Wow. That su stuck surprisingly well. I don't know why it stuck that well. Let's go ahead and pull that off. You can see I got a little bit too close to the back of the bill plate because look at that flat spot on that. It's a thousand wonders that even printed. Okay, now let's see if we can get its foot off of here without messing up. There we go. I did use a brim on it because, mainly because of the prime tower. I wish there was a way and there probably is i just got to figure out the setting for just putting a brim around the prime tower itself i know there's got to be an easy way of doing it but i just haven't figured it out yet and i'm just curious by taking that brim off if i was going to lose any toenails or claws or whatever you want to call it and so far they are all staying put. Sweet. That actually came apart pretty good. Got a couple little loops right there on his belly. Because the cooling probably could be a little bit better. And now let's see if I can get rid of some of these wisps. I'm just going to pull some of them off by hand. And then I'll hit the rest of it with a heat gun really quick so we can get a better look at it. Okay, there it is. That's as good as I can get it for now. I definitely got to work on that retraction setting. That's, that's just vile. But, you can see we've got the black here. We have the bronze, and I definitely, on this model, would need to have more in the way of the prime tower, more thickness or, or more volume to the prime tower in order to get all of it purged out. Because you can see stripes down here where it's darker because of the belly. And then up here it looks cleaner. And then right up here where the neck starts to narrow down smaller, that's when you can start to definitely see more black in the bronze. Uh, I mean, it's all right but it's it's noticeable that it didn't didn't do the color change quite right but oh no i am still happy with it 
I mean, it's this is one of the things about 3D printing is you got to just kind of keep uh, playing around with your settings because every model is a little bit different. Like uh, 3D Fill uh, didn't use near as much. Um, it wasn't real thin in areas like this, so you didn't notice the color transition like this. Where with this one here, because of the smaller, smaller portions of the model compared to the larger bar parts of it, you can see where the black bled into the into the bronze. But still, that's pretty cool. I really like how it has the details like that, where it changes the colors, and it actually looks pretty seamless actually I mean look at this line and in mind you it's layer after layer after layer after layer but it's just that's just it looks really cool how that transitioned into it definitely like how that printed once again just have to play with the settings a little bit more <laughs> I think it'll be just fine anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com. We can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.